Good morning, Lighthouse. It's day 14, and uh, I love the title of today's devotion. Uh, it says, Alignment with Heaven. Now, I don't know about you, but have you ever had a car that your tires, it was out of alignment, and you could be driving, and you had to keep it, if you let go at all, it just shoot off to one side or the other, and so you constantly had to be steering it and overcorrecting to keep your ro- your car on the road, and Sometimes it's like that way in our own spiritual life. We feel like if we just relax for a little bit, if our hand slips off the wheel just for a second, it's like our life just takes a, a right turn uh, in the wrong direction. And so today I want to talk to you about aligning your life with God and with heaven. We know that in Matthew chapter 6 where Jesus is teaching his disciples how to pray, he makes this statement, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We've heard the phrase, Man, this is just like heaven on earth. And we've been to places and seen places that was just so beautiful that you it just gave you a glimpse of just how incredible heaven might be. And God is wanting us to experience heaven on earth. He's wanting His perfect will to be done in our life, in our attitude, in our marriage, in every relationship. But in order for that to happen, you and I have to pray and we have to align ourselves with God and with the things of God. We know that in Isaiah chapter 58, it gives us the example of what God truly wants to see when a corporate fast is called. And not just a corporate fast, but when we fast personally. Uh, He gives the encouragement there in verse 6 that this is the kind of fast I've chosen, that, that to loose the chains of injustice, to untie the cords of the yoke, and to set the oppressed free, and to break every yoke. He also, in verse 7 and 8, it goes on to say we need to feed the hungry and clothe those that, that are naked and help those that don't have any shelter. And, and when we begin to help those in need, uh, that is true alignment. That shows that true fasting has taken place. And verse 9 gives us this promise. When all this has happened, then you will call on the Lord and he will answer. You will cry for help and he will say, here I am. That's what I want in my life. I want to be in alignment with God and the things of God, and I want to experience heaven on earth, but more importantly, I want to do what God has called me to do. And I want to be able, when I'm in trouble, when I'm in need, and when I call on Him, I want to be in that place where He can say, here am I. What do you need? I'm right here with you. I haven't forgotten about you. I'm exactly where I need to be. So my encouragement for you today is this. Align yourself with God through prayer. Ask God through your heavenly prayer language to align you to set you in the right place so that, more importantly, you can be in God's will and you can hear from Him uh, when you need Him. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.